Hey everyone, so another comparison video that a lot of you requested. This time we're going to have two of the fastest smartphones in the world. The OnePlus 3 against the Xperia XZ. So, like usual, getting right to it, powering both these on at the same time. Both on the latest version of Marshmallow. Now, I think with the OnePlus 3, the main thing that differentiates it from other uh, high-end phones is the fact that 6GB RAM. Really impressive there, twice as much as the XZ has at 3. Both do share the same processor, Snapdragon 820. But again, I do think the RAM will be a factor here. We'll see. And it looks like the OnePlus 3 is going to be the first one to load up. And it is. Very fast boot up time here. Uh, let's go over to the app page. Just make sure everything's closed out. All right, we're good. And now the XZ is up as well. All right, so again, going to the app page here. All right, guys, so for this test, got a lot planned. Uh, got boot up, which we just did. Got an to-do benchmark, app opening, game opening. Going to be looking at camera speed, fingerprint scanner, and more. So let's go to Temp Run 2 first. And new version of Temp Run 2 here, Halloween Beam. And see here the Xperia XZ winning this test. Alright, um, CNN has been working. Let's go to iFunny. And iFunny will slow tonight, but looks like loading up faster on DXZ. Alright, let's go to YouTube next. This one again goes to the XZ. So, so far XZ off to a pretty good start. Let's look at calculator. Let's look at clock. Let's look at eBay. So again, XZ here. XZ doing excellent so far, either tied or winning everything besides the boot up of course, which is Asphalt 8. So some of the other specs, in terms of screen size, larger screen on the OnePlus 3, 5.5 inches versus 5.2 on the XZ, both for 1080p. And the XZ once again winning here. So very interesting results so far. All right, so next up, we're gonna look at photos. Now this did load up faster on the OnePlus 3, but as you see the uh, Xperia XZ does have more content here to load up, like videos, which the OnePlus 3 does not, just as some photos. Um, so just a couple more, let's look at ESPN. All right, so that one goes to the uh, OnePlus 3. Settings. All right, maybe one plus three by hair. So as you guys saw, um, the I think overall, obviously the Xperia XZ won most of the tests. But during the last few apps, the uh, uh, one plus three did pretty well. I think it slightly beat out the Xperia XZ for the last few, anyways. Even though overall the Xperia XZ did win. Um, so we do have some more tests planned, but interesting there. Maybe it has to do with the six gigabytes of RAM. Maybe that's where it comes into play. Uh, sorry, so let's look at an to-do benchmark that I ran. So you see here, score of 145,000 versus 144,000. So both excellent scores, two of the highest that you'll see on Android. Let's look at, I guess we'll do some web browsing next. Or no, actually before web browsing, let's do the camera. This is just camera speed. I will have a full comparison on my channel in the future. But for now, again, just looking at the speed. So 23 megapixel rear facing camera on the XZ versus 12, or rather 16 on OnePlus 3. Front facing camera on OnePlus 3 is 8 megapixels versus uh, 13 on the Xperia XZ. So it looks to be faster on the OnePlus 3 here. Really not that important, but pretty fast to do it, so that's why I do that test. Let's look at web browsing.
All right, so we're going to go to a few sites. Let's go to IGN. And very fast here on the Xperia XZ, you see winning that test. Let's go to Nintendo. Again, this one goes to the XZ. And we'll just do one more. Uh, let's just do Yahoo. Trying to cut this video a little shorter than usual. You, again, you see the XZ winning here. And guys, I did do a practice run before I uh, did this test, and the XZ did win most of this. So very similar results to what I got before. Um, let's see. So next up, I guess I'll go over some of the specs, and I'm going to go over the fingerprint scanner last. So some of the other specs, I already mentioned the camera, the processor. Uh, I do prefer the cameras on the Xperia XZ. Um, again, that's 13 megapixel front, 23 rear, and I will have some videos over my channel in the future. In terms of internal storage, 64 gigabytes versus either 32 or 64 on the XZ. Although the XZ does have micro SD card support, which you do not have on OnePlus 3. Uh, in terms of some of the other special features, so the XZ does have stereo speakers. The OnePlus 3 does not. The XZ also has waterproofing. OnePlus 3 does not. Both of them, of course, have fingerprint scanners. Both have micro USB at the bottom. Or sorry, <laughs> both actually have uh, USB Type C at the bottom. Excuse me. In terms of price, so the OnePlus 3 going to run you around four hundred dollars if you can actually find it for that amount. That's the retail price. Although from what I've seen, it's mostly sold out and uh, on the online store and other places. If you can get it for that price, though, pretty good price. What I saw on Amazon was around five hundred dollars plus. For the Xperia XZ, just came out, launched at seven hundred dollars. Uh, Amazon giving a fifty dollar credit, so it came out to six fifty. Um, so excellent price for the OnePlus 3 in my opinion. I think that overall the OnePlus 3 probably a better bang for your buck than the Xperia XZ. Although I certainly prefer the XZ. I think that it's worth the money so far from what I've used. Uh, let's look at the fingerprint scanner. So this is an area that the OnePlus 3 really does excellent. And so if you have the American version of the Xperia XZ, you don't have access to this unfortunately. Let me just go grab the X Performance because it has the same fingerprint scanner. All right, so again, the XZ does not have access to the finger scanner if you have the United States version. You need to uh, flash your phone to the UK firmware if you want the fingerprint scanner. So it's pretty disappointing, but if you don't mind doing that, I think it only takes around 5-10 minutes to actually do it. But I'm going to be comparing it versus the X Performance. So very similar to the XZ came out earlier this year, the previous flagship. Same fingerprint scanner, so there really shouldn't be a difference here. And guys, the fingerprint scanner on OnePlus 3 is incredible. Best I've ever used on any phone. Now the extra forms you can tell very good as well, but there's just no beating the one on the one plus three. It's instant. All right, so obviously that one goes to the one plus three, although both pretty good fingerprint scanners. Um, so guys, in terms of other specs, I didn't go over. Uh, forget if I mentioned battery, but it's 3000 capacity on OnePlus 3 versus 2900 on the Xperia XZ. Look at the back of both these phones. Both uh, mostly made of metal. High quality material on both. I think slightly better quality on the Xperia uh, XZ. Hard to describe, but just when you're holding it, it just feels more premium. Although the OnePlus 3 is still pretty good feeling. In terms of the design, I do prefer the design on the XZ. Both though, again, I do like the design on both. Let's look at the bottom and at the top. All right guys, so interesting results to speed test. Uh, I say that the OnePlus 3 won more of this stuff, so it did win the boot up, it won fingerprint scanner, a little bit faster at, uh, what was it, camera speed. But in terms of the most important part of the test, the thing that you're doing more than anything, uh, app opening, the Xperia XZ did win that. So I'm pretty surprised by that. I was expecting OnePlus 3 to win that. So a lot of credit to the Xperia XZ there. And yeah, guys, I'm just saying that I think that the app, uh, app opening, web browsing, I think that that's more important because you just do it far more often than when you boot up your phone. 
uh, than when you're taking pictures. Um, you know, I, I care more about how fast I can browse on Chrome compared to how fast I can take a picture. But regardless, I think that maybe OnePlus 3 won more of the stuff, the XZ won more of the important stuff. Um, pretty good performance on both phones. Now in terms of which one I prefer, it is the XZ. And there's several reasons for that. So both the camera is much better on the XZ in my opinion. Um, you do have micro SD card support on the XZ. You do have waterproofing on the XZ. Uh, stereo speakers on the XZ. So the OnePlus 3, very good value for your money. Again, this is one of the cheaper flagships you can buy, but just lacks some of the stuff that the XZ has. Um, and in terms of performance, one of the most important things, the purpose of the speed test, the XZ did surprisingly well. All right, everyone, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more content in the future, and let me know what video you want to see next.